he does like to participate. I've asked a lot of people about what they want lectures on and what style. Some say, you know, don't do so much audience participation. It's so noisy. So many people jumping in. It's chaotic. Other people say, oh, we just, you know, it captivates the people. It's so much better that way. You get a lot of stuff. So I try to mix it up. That's probably the biggest thing I hear is mix it up. Do a lot of different things. And in one minute, actually, I'm going to check the clock, and you can hear it. Sometimes I get two or three minutes off. Good evening. At the tone, Pacific Daylight Time will be 6, 59, and 10 seconds. Ooh, I'm only two seconds off. Good evening. At the That's not bad. Okay, so we're a minute early, but who cares? We'll, uh, we'll get going here. Um, so I've been getting a few people quite recently talking to me about Aji. What is Aji? How do you use it? How do you recognize it? All that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start. Grup's going to help me start this out, and um, we'll play along start playing the game. We won't worry about mistakes. We'll only look at mostly my perspective of the odd GIC in his group and in my group. Hey, Stu. Um, and through that process, we'll see, we'll define what OG is, um, see timing, how to think about it, when to use it, all that kind of stuff. So let me punch in his name here. Okay, Grep, uh, go ahead. We'll just start playing here. Hi, Ray. <clears throat> okay, now this may sound funny, but Anji is, well, of course, for those of you, I'm sure we all know, but anyway, the literal term is taste. Uh, bad Aji, bad taste. Um, so it's things, weaknesses in a shape, uh, even though they don't work, it's a bad taste in your mouth. So even with his 4-4, four -four, there's Aji there. And what I mean is the 4-4 four -four is terrible for the corner. I can come in to the 3-3 three -three and live probably in Sunday. There's a real taste to this stone, and underneath, it's not bad, Aji. Black wants me to come in, but there's a gap there. And that's something that White sees right away. Okay. I'm going to play on the bottom because that's biggest. But whether I play there or he plays there, there's no Aji to speak of. It's just an area. Now, lower left corner, there's Aji there. C4. I can play there, and it kind of bothers black. I wouldn't do it now, but as the situation changes, C4 could literally kill black. Now, no one talks about that Aji yet because no one's close to it. It's not worth talking about. The Aji P3. No one talks about it because there's no reason to talk about it. No one's going to play around P3, neither black or white. But later on, I might play P3 and rip off a stone because there's a gap there. There's a taste. The more pronounced it gets, you know, the closer the white stones, the more it tastes, the stronger the taste.
That's a good point. <clears throat> Someone says, is there RG like a J2H2? And there's certainly some flavor there. But if we have black stones closer, like at M3, E3, then that underneath RG becomes very flavorful. It actually starts working. And it's full blown RG. Here it's a slight RG. H2J2. It's something that no one ever think of playing. I'm not going to play there. Black's not going to play there. But there's a flavor there. But it's never talked about until the black stones come closer. Okay. Good question. Let's answer that. Ice Dragon, Dragon asks, so is Aji a good thing or a bad thing? Bad Aji is a bad thing. So as black approaches my K3 stone, that gap becomes a problem. Something good for him, bad for me. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, then there's Aji Keshi, a term we all know. It's uh, helping someone fix their Aji. This is something amateurs do a lot, is they play a move that they like, and all of a sudden, but the guy's position got stronger. The Aji went away. We removed the Aji. You don't want to be doing that. Aji's great if it's his bad Aji. <laughs> it's a violent response. I don't know if it's good. That's actually a killing way, which doesn't suit here, but that's beside the point. Okay, let's talk about P2. No Aji there. Well, I could play there and Black says, so I'll surround you, what's the big deal? So it's not really, I mean, it's something of a funny spot, but it's, I would say there's literally no Aji there. But as I descend, now there's Aji P2. If I now if I play P2 and he surrounds me O2, I can live. I simply play Q2 and I connect under or I cut and kill. So now there's Aji. I'm not going to play it. It's too early to play such a thing. But it's a bad taste in Black's mouth. Oh gosh, I got that thing sitting there. My group's getting surrounded. So he's going to try to get health while fixing this. Does Black O move there? I would say no. His group in general owes a move. And now this is another thing I wanted to bring up. <clears throat> There's two kinds of weaknesses. A lot of people don't get this. Let's start with general weakness. So we look at Black's group as a whole in the bottom right. It's behind enemy lines. It appears to have only one eye. That's a weak group. It doesn't mean you're going to die. There's plenty of groups that are alive. As long as you play, I'm alive. But White plays and plays and plays and plays and gets all this influence as you're trying to make two eyes and live. You succeed, but White gets so much on the outside. So you were alive, but you were weak. So that's what this group is. He's basically alive, maybe not literally, but he's going to live, but he's weak. So that's general weakness. Does this make sense? You guys understand what I'm saying? 
Okay, good. Then we have specific weakness. Uh, for instance, uh, C4. It's weak there. If I play D4, he better connect. Why? Because he has a chink in his armor, a specific weakness. Specific weakness is very similar to Aji. I don't think they are the same, but they're similar. Uh, so on the bottom right, Black's group is weak in general. And he has a specific weakness at Q3. My group at G3, Grep, I figure you're thinking, you can play anytime you want. My group on the bottom can extend. Ooh, it's going to ignore. Even all that talk about him being weak, and he played away. Weird. Okay, well, I'm just going to snug right up. Because if he played there, my group switches from being perfectly fine to being okay, but not great. I would rather black not play at M3. M3 fixes the weakness. That means if I play P3, I'm already surrounded. He can just kill me. So M3 was a very big move. Even though, and notice this, it was incredibly narrow. Three spaces. Black make, can make a one space jump or white can make a one space jump. You can't get much smaller than that. But the character was huge. Black helps his group while hurting white. Or white helps white's group while hurting black. The character is what makes things big. Now notice, black's group on the right was perfectly safe in general, but it had that weakness, R8, R9. There was a specific weakness. I'm hitting that weakness. This great example. He's weak there, specific little weakness, Aji, and I'm hitting it, hitting it. What did I get for that? I got the cut. Without it, I can't do that. That's a perfect example of using the Aji for another purpose. Yes, also called the leaning attack. My group was too weak to do this by itself. But press first, use the Aji. So now let's look at his group on the right. Not the bottom, but the right. His group in general is okay. But he still has that specific weakness at R8. <clears throat> now, I can't just cut at R8. He'll kill me. But I can play S7. S7 hits him on that weakness. And I can mess with his shape because of that Aji. Okay. <clears throat> There's still some running potential. Um, but I could... Black's threatening come under me, right? So if I want my points, I should play that. But points is the last thing we think about. First, we think about my group, perfectly fine. Totally out, all like that. Also, what's he threatening? He's threatening, I have a relatively strong area around the L2. There's two white stones close together. It's nice and strong there. He's threatening a strong area. That's not much of a threat. So the points aren't important. He's not threatening my group. So time to use the Aji. That's the vital point. That's where he would go to get his two eyes.
So can we all see now that black is pretty weak? Grep, can you see that and everyone else too? Okay. Now, you see how powerful, I'm going to take control here and just chat about this a little bit. First, I want to talk about M3. <clears throat> this is something that Q players tend to not understand. They go, oh, but a tiny little step. Yeah, but now black's alive and white has lots of Aji. Now, the white defends. We can actually play this move. It works now. If we stop him from going home, he threatens to run out. We stop him, he runs home. And we have no eyes. The closer he, remember, the closer he gets to our weakness, the more flavor there is for him. So even though it's extremely narrow, M3 is a huge move. One other way to look at it, how many points did M3 make for me, assuming black lives? Gosh, I, I took, I'll take away all his P2 area. That's six points. Um, uh, then I'll do a lot of chasing, and I'm bound to get a lot of points from chasing. So it probably turned into a 20-point move, maybe even a 30-point move. And if I kill, then pretty big. Okay, good. Uh, Grep, thank you very much. I think we'll switch to someone uh, more in the Don arena, one Don, one Q, right around in there, and go through this again, and, and we'll look at the Aji develop and all like that. Uh, Princey, I don't know you very well, but you've always, see, always seen somewhat well-behaved, uh, not like violence. <laughs> He's a, he is a violent fellow. So, yeah, let's try Princey. Okay, set players. Oh, first go all the way back. Set players. Um, I have used violence before, and I don't mean anything bad about violence. I only mean uh, his style is so fierce, and I don't want to say chaotic, but sharp. It's not good for teaching. That's all. That's all I mean to say. Okay. Okay, Princey, you're in, and it's your move. Now, again, we're not going to fix any mistakes. We're just going to watch the Aji develop. <clears throat> Black played very strong. 017. One space jump. It is a Jiseki. It's not a good Jiseki in this situation, but it's not game losing. It's just not proper. It's uh, less. It's not the biggest Jiseki choice, um, but he's so strong. There's very little Aji. It's a little bit, not too much. Um, no, not necessarily a cutting point. But seeing as how virtually all groups have cutting points and Aji's near them, so maybe I guess in a way. Trick him. <laughs> trick him, trick him. I know nothing.
Okay, so now we look at the upper right group. It's almost like there's literally no IG at all. It is so strong, so rock solid, it's hard to imagine ever doing anything to this group. Uh, good question, Stu. Excellent question. That really shows some insight when you ask that question. Good for you. Yes, I played high on purpose, and it's locally incorrect. I played it for global reasons. Uh, it's, it has to do with I owe a move on the bottom left, and I want to create I'm, I, I'm, it's some strategy. Q11. Uh, no, I don't think it is too short. Um, this may sound funny, but I only have a two stone wall. It looks like three, but I don't, it's only two. The height of a wall starts on the third line. It doesn't matter if you have the first and second there so much. If you have a third, fourth, and fifth line, then it's a three stone wall. Yeah, second line, it's it's helpful, but it's not so great. Okay, Stu, notice this move and ask, why did you play high? Because of this. He takes the big move on the bottom left, I take the big move over here. This is a very big move. And notice on the bottom left, this is for the advanced players, I played that group light. And if he attacks me, I'm still light. I haven't changed it. It went from light to being light. Big deal. He got some profit, but I got a huge move. So you can see my, um, my thinking there. Okay. This is a big choice, having nothing to do with Aji. Do I develop the left? Or do I stop him from taking a big corner? If I try to take a big, I'm sorry, right, it is so close to being real points. But there's a feeling that his points are going to be more real and more practical than mine. So I'm going to uh, come into the corner instead. When he plays fourth line like this, he's saying, I want a really big corner. Okay. So I get a good shot at the corner and a lot on the right. This is what white would be hoped for. If I'm black, I do the same thing. There's not much black can do um, other than do this, get sente, and get on with the game. Okay. I will defend my group. Okay. Let's talk about Aji here on the right. This will define Aji a little bit. Black can live on the right. But there's no Aji there. Black is, there's no taste, like, there's no bad taste in my mouth on the right. It's not like, oh gee, uh, I might get cut, I might get cut apart, he might hurt this weakness of mine. No, I'm perfectly healthy on the right. I don't have those points, but I'm healthy. Um, a little bit of Aji, for instance, um, he could play R5 in Sente, Sente-ish. Okay, I guess we could call that Aji. I, I don't... So it's not like, can you come in? Um, it's, uh, it's a weakness in a shape. And on the right, I have two excellent shapes. Now the one of them will weak. Okay, my move.
Yeah, just some water went down a funny way. No, that was not a signal. I laugh. I just, you talked about a signal, made me think of my wife. You know, a lot of times women have these little signals, these little. They say one thing and they mean something entirely different. You know, like, uh, how's the milk? How's the milk situation? Meaning, what she really means is, we have no milk, I want you to go to the store for me. <laughs> Any sort of thing like that. It just cracks me up. I know, it's dangerous. Yeah, it just makes me look fat. Okay. A bad move. How shall I punish this? I'm going to punish it this way. A little later we'll look at this. The yeah, hand signals. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're not talking about Aji right now, but this is an interesting situation. White wants to attack the C6 group. But the question is, is my B8 group strong enough to attack? If they're not, then I should defend first. So I have to think about this. <clears throat> Am I strong enough to attack? Well, it's kind of borderline, but as I descend, I'm really affecting the Aji around my D16 stone. I'm turning my D16 stone into a real stone. It can start hurting the upper left really well now because of this move. So this move, I get close to all black's weaknesses in the upper left, creating lots of Aji. White has Aji at D11. There's four cuts there. Okay, now I'm strong enough. So I'll start cutting through. Uh, I no longer want to attack. I want to cut. Very big. Oh, this is big. That is huge. <clears throat> okay. Do I have to respond? Yes. Or else he will kill me. Can I cut first? Yes. Interesting. <clears throat> this cutting stone has some value. L4, yes. Um, so I think, I, I'm not sure about this, but I think the right way to phrase it is black has bad Aji. 
and White will probably use L4, I have created a bad Aji for black. My L4 stone will likely be the tool in which I, I use that Aji. Okay, so I'm going to take, very big, and he ignores. I could care less about my points on the right. There's no bad Aji there. If he was going to come in, steal the points, even though they weren't mine, so we can't call them stealing. Uh, if he was going to come in and take the points and come near a weakness, then it would bother me. Okay. I'm going to start just with increasing my Aji. It's a lot of funny stuff here for black, right? A lot of awkward things. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to take control here and show you how to think about this Aji. Now, <clears throat> As we see the weaknesses down below, there's so many ways to go about using the weaknesses. So the trick is, notice them, and as the game progresses, keep them in mind, and they will help you in the, in the correct direction. So for instance, white pushes. If white had a stone here already, well, then I cut and kill. So, quite thinking, how can I use this stone? See what I mean? So a few things come to mind. For instance, if I play here, obviously he can't stop, he can't do this, but all of a sudden there's there I am in that in that area. That's one way. That's vulgar way, but which all you do is you look at it and say, well, how can I use this? Next, we I notice this. Very big capture. And notice with the Q7 stone being near me, he's about to surround my group. It's likely that I'll have to play here. At which point, remember that spot that was so good a minute ago? Now it's a vital point. If he tries to uh, distract me, see how it works out? It's just piecing things together, how to use the weakness. So there's a weakness there. And we've seen a couple little ways of how to use it. Um, this, for instance, if black tries to disconnect me, remember this was Sunday because of the weaknesses. He comes back and fixes, and all of a sudden, I'm out more than I used to be. And he's potentially cut here. All these different ways of using the Aji. And so you carry these things with you. Um, let's pause for a second and look at Aji around the board. The two mark stones. They have a bad relationship. There's flavor in here. So you kind of look and you say, well, what's what's going on there? What happens when I play it directly? Well, my group can live. Oh, well, that's nice to know. If I get in trouble, this Aji will save my group. That's very pleasant. And notice, notice, white threatens the cut, right? There's the cut. So white threatens the cut. White runs out. Look at black's left side group. No eyes at all. And as he runs, check out this cut. 
All of a sudden, this cut's very big. And he surrounded all the bottom with vital points. All because of paying attention to little specific weaknesses. There's flavor here. How do I use the flavor? Uh, another way, line here. This is more aggressive, I just want to hurt you kind of deal. You know, you check out the different cuts. <clears throat> now, something that... Oh, every person in the room can see these weaknesses. The first thing if the cue player says to himself is, Oh, can I cut here? They always, as a matter of fact, they try these things. The 20 cues do these. And then the 25 cue says, oh, gee, can I capture? Oh, I can. Well, maybe I'll play here. Everybody sees these. Nobody doesn't see these. L just, just look in the game room, English game room. Look under 25 cue, go into the game. You'll see a game that looks just like this. Push Atari, Atari, Atari. Push, 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 push. They see the weakness and they push on it. They see it all the time. So that's not the problem. The thing is, and that's, so that's the next point, what do we do with it? Well, the only time to push and do it immediately is when I want points. And points in Gote are the smallest kind of points you can get. So it's rare that you simply go and do it. Take the points. What's more common is I'm going to chase the group or take huge points. Chasing, that's what we do all the time. Just taking a small handful of points in Gote. Um, I'm going to pause and tell a little story here. Um, John, uh, John, gosh, what's his name? Uh, extremely strong amateur. Um, super strong amateur, was sitting around with uh, three pros, and they were reviewing a game. Janice Ken, uh, she was only one Don at the time. This is many, many, many years ago. Uh, her teacher, professional eight Don, and the third one, I don't remember the third one. And so the four of them were sitting around reviewing this game, and I walked up, <clears throat> and I'm watching. Um, and they're looking at a certain situation, and the amateur, now... I've seen him, John Lee, yes, thank you, John Lee, very strong. I've seen him play Jujo even and lose by four points. I mean, he's really strong. Um, <clears throat> he got all excited, and he points out to the professionals, oh, you can kill. And it's a 40-point kill. And in, he was so excited that he saw this kill that no one else saw. And in unison... All the pros said, no, 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 that's too small. Because it was points in Gote. And there was much more to be done than taking 40 points in Gote. <laughs> and the look on his eyes and mine, I'm going, really? That's too small? And he looked at it going, really? And all the pros had totally seen it and dismissed it as, oh, that's just too small. There's too much character in this position to settle for a few measly points. I, I just got such a kick out of that. Okay. So we all see the weaknesses, and it's a matter of when do you want to use it? When, save it for a time you need. So for instance here, I push an M4, he has to fix. Now running out is interesting, right? So what I'm going to do is take that opportunity to press and see how he responds. If he says, I don't like the Aji, I'm going to kill that. Now white can't get out. Well, I picked up the right side. That's huge. I'll do that, and it's still my move. But instead, if he says, nope, don't want you to. Nope, don't want to get cut. Look at those white stones, those M4 stones. He still doesn't want me to cut. All of a sudden, I've surrounded him and saved my stones. And he's still cut. And if he decides to connect, then remember, this was Sente. He can't let me play the next one. 
he has to play. And he gets very nasty. And he might even die. So all because of this odd you left behind. Now, one more time. Black's bottom right. No way in the world I can kill this group. Impossible. But there's Aji there. So I press, testing the waters. With that one white move, it's a little more flavorful. Not a lot, but it's noticeable. Now it's getting flavorful. The mouth is starting to water. Now it's like, it's like, wow, I can totally taste this. It's, it's becoming a reality. Black says, oh, too late. Great. Well, I'll just haunt me and use my Aji on that side. He tries to get out. Be aggressive. You're alive. He's not. And notice the Aji's still there to some degree. For instance, if he defends, right, and then we run out, well, I guess we can't run out. But it's close. It's close. The odds is getting closer and closer. And uh, so one more white stone there, you know. Okay. Good. We saw a lot of Aji in that one, too. So now let's see if we can find... Um, who was that? That was Princey. Now, if Violence still wants to, we will... Um, are you still there? Yes. Okay. We'll go with Violence this time. Everyone likes him. And now that we've taken some time to see the Aji... With his style, it's actually a good time now. We'll see some very much more interesting stuff because he's stronger. He knows how to use it, how to how to avoid it. Cracks knuckles. <laughs> okay, set players. Okay, so no one's really done anything yet. We're simply sketching. Black is looking very strong to the upper right, yeah? He's white owes a move because of the R14. Black owes a move because of the F17. So it's a very flexible situation. So many different things can happen. Very exciting. But no Aji to speak of. No, there have really been no groups formed yet. The only group is my uh, C14. Okay. Now we have a statement. So now I will settle my situation. And if I know what he's going to play, we'll see some good Aji soon. way. Okay. <clears throat> Black's top area. Very big looking, but totally open. Well, I can just step in and live no problem. So, the fact that White can live in there has nothing to do with Aji. I mean, if I live, I live. Great. But the reason... White can live so easily, does deal with the Aji. Black has a cut at P14. That cut lets White live easily. If, what, if Black was strong there, no cuts, then living would be much harder. Now, another trick is the Aji at, or actually it's the weakness, the weakness at Q12. Because of the weakness at Q12, black Q18 is not sente to kill the corner. That's a big deal in this situation. Thank you. 
make you who? Well, if I show the match to control, that <coughs> means that I have to retype in and set players, which I hate to do. So we'll do it in review. Actually, I was supposed to review something in uh, Prince's game that I forgot to. I am lazy. Lazier than you know. I am the hardest worker you'll ever meet in your life. But if I don't have anything to do, I'll just sit around all day. I am so lazy. Interesting choice. I think it... No, it can't be right. No, the other one's better. Okay. Ooh. Maybe he's thinking what I'm thinking he's thinking. Uh, unexpectedly low. If you're talking about P2, that's the uh, only move that gives white life in one move. It's, it's the shape move. There are other options, but to settle now, that's the move, and it's by far the most common. If you're talking about black's right side, not so important. Not low. <clears throat> now you notice black fix is fixing all his Aji. That makes Q18 Sente. That's a big difference. And then he goes back and fixes the other entry point at H17. <laughs> Very cute. G18 is the standard response to F15. We don't want black to get center and then corner too. So as I take the corner, uh, the invasion comes back again. But I can't let him flatten me on the bottom, so I have to play this way first, getting ready for the invasion. So, <clears throat> let's pause for Aji. White's got Aji at C17. Black can play there. No problem. Now it'll just die. But, as the black stones get closer, those weaknesses get more and more flavorful. So, bottom, right, or top. Three big areas. No weak groups to speak of. Well, actually, if I force this, if he doesn't want me to get the entire corner, he's got to come out, which I'd wager he'll do next. He doesn't want to. But now, remember that bottom area that was so wide and open? I get this incente, which is helpful, and then this incente, which is helpful. That doesn't mean the bottom area is mine, but much harder to come in. And I think I'll wrap while I'm here. Gangsta wrap. Okay. Now I can invade the top, take the bottom, or start pressing on the right. Now the pattern is, if I can get two of these working together, better. And I can. As I turn, I'm making my bottom area more and more difficult to invade. 
Reduce him, grow me. That's the pattern. We have um, three things to do or more. See if some of them overlap and we can do two at once. Okay, he leaves a weakness. I hit him. Oh, his first real mistake. <laughs> okay, we've got 10 minutes left. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and things to notice. Violet, thank you very much. We're going to stop now and leave the last 10 minutes to do a bunch of reviews and catch up on some of the games we've done. Okay. Things to notice in this game. White's going to be able to attack the A group. This is going to be... I'm going to do a lot of pressing. I could do it that way. I could take points, do it this way. Um, lots of things to do. But I'm going to wait till there's extra white stones around and white stronger from this fight before I start that fight. Okay, so that's one aim. Black owes a move there, really. Next, the B group. Surround it. Next, the cut at C. Oh, that could get nasty soon. As I'm fighting here, that could get really nasty. And then finally, the invasion at D. White's weaknesses, only one that I can see, that's the cut of D. It's a little bothersome. But I'll use the attack at A to fix that. So white has a weakness granted, but black has a number of them. So white should be able to win the game pretty straightforward. Okay, so violence doesn't agree, but we don't have time to go through all the multiple variations. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times white will approach, it's not uncommon, to approach the 4-4 right away. It kicks the board off, makes things unbalanced, so things get very interesting. You'll find most of the time the pro will play this way because this is a settling move and this is a statement. I'm attacking you. But it's too early to make a statement. Pros do it, but it's not that common. And you won't see pros too often playing away. Um, about 95% of the time, they'll stay for reasons which I've said so many times. Hopefully everyone knows. Okay. He pinches. Fine move. But perhaps what now it's a, it's a statement, and now both players will try to use that statement for or against the other player. One thing on my mind is black's going to be creating a wall here. Shy? You can't use that name. Uh, so I'm playing this 4-4 to remove that wall before it gets started. That's why I think the upper left is the biggest area on the board. He plays this way, bringing the wall back. I say, fine, you make the wall if you make the wall hurting the group, I'll remove the wall hurting the stone. So there's this back and forth strategy that goes on. He says, great, I'll leave it all alone, go to the rest of the board. Very smart idea. I like it high here. Really smart. Good move. We go through a pattern. It's all regular. And this would be the common way. This really supports his weakness at Q12. If I play normal, he's very thick to the center where he wants to be. His move is interesting, but it should be here. Attack hard. White has two choices. This way. And notice, he defended his Q5 group wonderfully in Sente. I mean, this is getting downright frightening. How in the world am I going to remove all that black moyo? That's a pretty big moyo. 
So let's go back to my other option. That's not a bad option either. Now there is some Aji left behind, but it's not, it's something. Well, I could just pull back here if you wanted and say no IG, good points. So all of these are very powerful ways for black. This just weak, really. Cuttable. Black's weak on both sides. It's, it's not quite right. And his move gives me a very powerful, big, running up to the fourth line. That's the line of victory. So he did a center move. I did a fourth line, line of victory move. So this exchange is better for uh, white. And we can't say, yeah, but black's getting the right. No, he's not. He's too weak over there, too open. There's nothing practical. Okay. Good move. Fix it. And get your senti at Q18. That was a wonderful little... Um, Exchange. The only problem is my N5 is so powerful. Uh, yes, Princey. Uh, kill the bottom right corner. Too big. The cut at Q13 is too valuable. So this group is too valuable, uh, represents too much. Okay. F15 is a great move. What he's done on top is great. Uh, so it's just the N4, N5. He got a bunch. I got N4, N5. Those two stones are more powerful. So if he says, no, you can't invade, yeah, he really can't. He did the right thing to just get a balanced board going. Now, there's so much typing in there, I'm not taking the time to go back and read everything. When I, when I do notice something of value, I try to stop. But there's a lot of typing down there. If I invade, he'll just flat me. This is just disgusting to be flat and worthless. Really sad. Oh, yeah, I bet you did. So I really have to stop that. And it might be better for me to just flatten him. And maybe even play inside. Except it's still not points. That's too deep to uh, know what to do there. And he doesn't really have any choice. White's just ahead now. It's getting hard for black. Yes, David B. Just one way to get my attention. Shy? Yes. Flattening black. Yes. Shape issue. Mm, again, uh, what, what do you mean? Don't want black to have the what? Oh, right, you are. My mistake. You need to fix. Yeah. So this is no good. Hitting this in Gote is way too small. No reason to push unless you're going to fix. Yeah. And if this is Sente, which it's not, then you can take that. Okay. Um, was there anything else on this board? Now, wasn't there one thing in Princey's game that we wanted to see? This was Princey. This is going to put us over a little bit, but let's take a look at the important stuff. 
Okay, let's start with this Joseki. <clears throat> First, the empty clone is bigger. Just bigger. Biggest thing on the board. If you're going to play this Joseki, which is not a mistake, it's just a change, who can get something? Who, where's the value? Well, there's two values. Well, I can get the cash. That's a lot of cash. And white has no cash, right? Not one point there. Just in beta. Okay, maybe one point, but it's virtually no cash. So pros love this Joseki because they're getting cash. And they're saying, great, white, you, you go ahead and show me your future where you're going to get those points back. That's now your burden. But a lot of players prefer the outside. All right, thank you. You take your cash. I'm going to take the future of the game. Great. So that's just a style difference. But all most pros just love this kind of cash. Secondly, we have the attacking style. <clears throat> Black says, I'm going to pressure you and get my profit that way. So uh, we have this kind of game. Black just got a bunch of points on top. White got nothing. White says, well, I'll try to attack. Black says, yeah, so... This is so all settled. Yeah, so, so all settled. Yeah, what's next? What are you going to do? So all settled. Okay, then what are you going to do? So, yeah, white settling, but uh, black got the corner on the bottom. Uh, most of it, I mean, not really, but uh, white really can't invade because uh, his group's weakened on the right. <clears throat> so, black got the bottom right corner. Black got the top points, and white still has a weak group. So black's getting profit from the pinch. So that's an active way. Uh, but to just play here saying, I just want to settle. What? Why do you want to just settle? That doesn't make any sense. Um, but anyway, not to speak bad of him, just that's speaking about the stones. So there's, there's interesting things going on on the board. So white plays, treats this lightly and gets off to some interesting areas. This Joseki is very complex. Lots, to, lots can happen here. Um, I think this, oh, it's like this. Oh, it's just very complex. Uh, there's some variations that actually work for white, but it's just really tough. So white plays this way to avoid all of that. If you're going to play this move, play it all the way. The whole point is that we're affecting white. That's the purpose of playing in this area. We must affect white. Um, Get rid of these stones to say it properly. Okay. That is a stone. We jump two spaces. Thanks, Dasan. Oh, back. Back! There we go. This is a two stone wall we get to extend one further. This is not a two-stone wall. This is not a three-stone wall. In a literal sense it is, but the way we're used to saying it, from a three-stone wall extend, was it four spaces, whatever it is? No, that starts on the third line and goes up. That's a three-stone wall and we can extend four spaces. N plus one, yes. And that's not second, third line, that's third, fourth, fifth line. Now some people say it goes up to the, with four stone wall, I, beyond that I don't have no idea. Okay, great. Well, thanks everybody. I hope our talk today about Aji was helpful. Uh, I think it was at least fun playing everybody. 
and trying to see the things as they develop. So hopefully we learned something and had a fun time. And this will bring us down to two or three. You know, I don't think we've ever been at two lessons. I'm going to check real quick. I'll be right back. I'm going to check to see how many there are. Okay, there's there's four. Then we take this one away. It brings us down to three. We've never been down to two. Someone's always come through. I mean, at this point, people are sending in a whole 50 bucks and someone will send in 10. So we back up to four, back down to three, and the 10 bucks finally, five and 10 bucks finally add up. But we're getting, getting low. So um, that's, uh, that's up to you guys. Send in if you want it to continue. All right. See you all guys later.